Hey, what's up? My name's Kyle, and I'm going to be reviewing the course, The Craigslist Middleman. Um, I've purchased over $100,000 worth of courses in my lifetime. Um, I used to work a full-time job for 10 years in the television industry, and it was a nightmare. And around year five of that career, I started messing around with different business models to try and get out and have some more time freedom and uh, reliable money every month. And I did manage to find that. I do something similar to Craigslist middle manning. Um, so what I do is I basically build little websites, uh, like one to five page websites for different service industries, like for example, junk removal. Um, and I'll make a website in Portland, junk removal Portland, and I'll rank it. And when it hits the first page, it start people start calling that the phone number on that website. And so once they start calling on uh, calling the phone number on that website. I uh, call I, I uh, call a business owner and work out a deal with them for them to basically rent the website from me and get all the jobs and they make money then they pay me a monthly flat rate, rate retainer depending on the call volume I send them maybe like around a thousand dollars a month and I do that on repeat in multiple different niches and multiple different markets across the country um, but that's basically what I do but it's similar to Craigslist middlemaning because I'm sending them leads and they're paying me for the leads and they actually do the work. I don't do any of the actual work of these jobs. But with Craigslist middlemanning, it's actually a pretty good concept. Um, you're basically advertising on Craigslist a service uh, at an inflated price. And then when, some, when you get a customer to pay you, you find somebody to go do, it, do the actual work for cheaper. Totally good business model, right? Um, you're basically finding the lead and you're selling the job. Same, it's just a different method than what I do. Um, I think this method's a little bit more work than I do because you have to do a lot more customer interaction. So say you're advertising on Craigslist that you want, that, that uh, you build websites and you get a customer to pay you $5,000 for a website and you find somebody on Fiverr for $1,000 to build the actual website. Well, the customer is going to be calling you and asking you tons of questions, giving you all the notes. So you have to really you're gonna be doing a lot more hands-on work in that whole business transaction. Um, it, it's it's good, but you just have to understand, you can't just sell any service. You have to sell a service that you actually understand and where you could talk the talk. So I, I, I highly recommend this. I think there's tons of opportunity out, out there for middlemaning, but I think the way I do things is a bit more passive. Um, let me just go into more depth about what I do is so let's say you're, uh, you don't have to be a junk removal person in Portland to make a website called Junk Removal Portland. So that's exactly what I do. I build a website called Junk Removal Portland, um, add like one to five pages of content, get some business listings like on Google, Bing, Yelp, Apple Maps, all those places, and you know present as if it's a real business. You know It's my website, I could do that, it's totally cool. So when I rank it, with SEO, which is not complicated. SEO is just search engine optimization. It's a fancy word for giving Google the right clues to let them know where to rank you, right? And so I make the one to five page website. I typically outsource it for like 200 to 300 bucks, have somebody build out a full website for me, throw it up there, do a little bit of SEO, and people start calling it. And when people start calling my website or calling, filling out the form submissions or calling the phone number, that's when I start calling up actual junk removal uh, companies in Portland. And I call them up and I give them the pitch. I'm like, hey, so I have this website. It's getting like 50 to 100 calls a month for people looking for junk removal services. What would you think about trying out these calls for a week and seeing if we could reach a deal at the end of seven days? Typically, they say yes. It's a very obvious pitch because you're not having them sign any contracts or give you any credit card information. It's just a test drive. It's a trial run. Um, so they try out for seven days, maybe they close a few jobs and you talk to them after seven days. You're like, Hey, what do you think? And if they love it, what you do is you work out a deal with them, what they think it's worth for junk removal. If you're getting 50 to hundred calls a month that are legit, I could, I could, you could easily charge seven fifty or a thousand dollars a month. Easy. And so once you got that client hooked up, the, the calls just keep forwarding to the client and his hands off. All you have to do is collect payment every month. Easy peasy. And you do that and rinse and repeat with every market. I'm at a point where I have over 200 websites and maybe 125 of them actually rented out um, between me and my partner and I. So, um, yeah, 
that, that's basically my business model. And if, if you're interested in my business model, you have some questions about it. I have my email in the description. You could shoot me an email with any questions you got. And um, if you want to look into a course on that subject that I endorse, there's a link to a course that I, I highly endorse. I know the course creator. He's a really good guy and he knows what he's talking about. And, and it's, it's got everything you need to know, plus a vibrant Facebook group. Um, so, yeah. Good luck on your making money online journey. And this has been a review of the Craigslist middleman. Um, I, I know it could be hard to find the thing that's going to work for you, but you just have to keep trying different things and find the thing that clicks. I tried a bunch of things before I landed on this business model and I haven't gone into an office to work in five years now. So um, good luck to you and uh, thanks for watching.